Well, hey, Hope City Kids, it's Pastor Peter, and I am so excited to be joining you today. Listen, we're here in the living room getting ready for Hope City Kids online today. And you see lots of games in front of us on the coffee table because tonight's the night. It is family game night for Hope City, and we're gonna have so much fun. I don't know if you know about this or not, but you and your family, we've got some games set up for you. We're gonna have a blast tonight. It's at 7 p.m. and we want you and your family to participate. In fact, we're gonna do everything we can to set up this night to have so much fun. We've got pizza, we've got games, we've got uh, Pastor Justin and Miss Megan are gonna be hosting family game night for Hope City and it's going to be amazing. In fact, right here, this is one of the prizes for tonight. If you win, you get all this. Look at this, we've got, this is my favorite game, ready? Quirkle. In fact, right now in the chat box, I wanna know what's your favorite game to play? Maybe you like um, Scategories, maybe you like Monopoly, maybe you like um, Uno, Uno Flip. I've never played Uno Flip. I wonder if you've played Uno Flip, that's gonna be fun if you win for sure, but I want you to check this out. Go and uh, if you win tonight, I wanna hear all about how you love playing Quirkle because I would, I'll play you and you know what? You'd probably beat me, but we're gonna have a blast. And in fact, speaking of having so much fun, this morning here at Hope City Kids Online, we've got a great day planned for you. We've got some awesome coloring pages. Go ahead and, and print those out and color them and share them with, with the people around you, the people you love, or even better yet, tag us on Hope on uh, Facebook. We'd love to see what you and your, your family, how you're coloring them and, and what you're doing with all that. We love Hope City Kids and we've got a great day planned for you. So let's get it started. Ready? We're gonna count it down together. Three, two, one, here we go.
time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder And as you can see, I'm cleaning up. I should be selling lemonade in the best lemonade stand with the lemoniest lemonade around. But as you can see, our lemonade stand is missing the most important thing, the lemonade. It all started a few minutes ago when Poppy and I were getting set up. Poppy, watch out! Ah! The good news is Poppy's okay. The bad news is she spilled all the lemonade on me! I feel kind of mad, a little sad, and a little bit frustrated. We've been working so hard! Now what are we supposed to do? Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Kai. Who? Who? What's got you feeling so blue? Hi, Ollie. Poppy tripped and spilled all the lemonade on me. Now we don't have any lemonade. Kai, that is hard, it's true. I've got the perfect story for you. Just listen up, just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through, follow me through who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi friends, I'm Justin the Mailman. Look at this postcard a father is sending to his son. It's got a big heart and it says, I love you. Aw, isn't that sweet? It reminds me of a story. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Okay. So today's true story from the Bible is actually a story that Jesus told so we would know that God loves us no matter what. It's about a father and a son. One day, the son asked his dad if he could have a lot of money that his dad was saving for him to have when he was much older. The dad gave him the money. The son took the money and went far away. He spent his money on everything. He bought clothes and toys and fancy food. He kept spending his money until it was all gone. Everyone say, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. All his money was gone and he was all alone. He didn't have a house or money or food. In fact, at one point, he even wanted to eat pig's food. Ugh. The son knew he had made bad choices, and he was very sorry. He wanted to go back to his dad and tell him how sorry he was. He decided to go back home. When his dad saw him coming, his dad ran down the road to hug him. His dad forgave him. He loved him. Nothing could ever change that. And do you know what? God loves you the same way the father in the story loved his son. God will never, ever, ever stop loving you. He loves you no matter what. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God loves you no matter what. So we can love each other too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow! What a great story. We are so special to God that He loves us no matter what. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, Got it. Get it? Got it! Good! You know what? I can 
can still love Pop even though she spilled the lemonade. We can always make more. I'm gonna go check on her now. See you guys next time, goodbye. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love, Romans 8.39. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love, Romans 8.39. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love, Romans 8.39. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8.39 Hey Hope City Kids, it is so good to see you. In pre-K today, we learned about how God loves you no matter what. So make sure you're coloring those awesome coloring pages with hearts all over it for today. And we'd love for you to post that online. Today in Hope City Kids, you're probably wondering why there's jump ropes all over your coloring page. Well, that is because it goes with our new challenge for this week. So my challenge for you is to grab a jump rope and try to say your memory verse while you jump rope. Now the trick is you have to say your entire memory verse while jump roping. So if you mess up, you do have to start all over, but that's okay because nothing is impossible with Jesus. I would love to see those posted on Instagram and Facebook. I wanna see your awesome exercise while you practice your memory verse. Now get ready to sing and dance. We'd love to see those videos posted because we are gonna start elementary worship right now.
it's Haley. Great to see you here again at my sticky studio. Well, this week I've really got a challenge. And I mean an actual challenge. You see, my friend Jake challenged me to a pancake decorating contest. Pancakes! And I'm only allowed to use things that people actually eat on pancakes. <laughs> Hard, oh, I mean yum, chocolate syrup. Yum, regular syrup. A classic. Strawberry spread. Modern. And, of course, whipped cream. Another classic. For all your holiday needs and pancake decorating contests, I'm covered. Now, the first challenge is to make a giraffe. Yeah, this looks good. Oh, it needs ears. Duh, Haley. Oh, we gotta get spots. Oh, uh, not as good as I thought it would be. <laughs> Hmm, well, wow. ooh, this sure is sticky. I'm still supposed to create three more images to compete with Jake. You know what I need? Some determination. Determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. Today's story is about two of Jesus' disciples, Peter and John. They were determined to spread the truth about Jesus and follow the Holy Spirit's leading no matter how hard things got. Wow. Well, I think I'm feeling more determined just thinking about it. I can do this! Oh no, oh no. I'm, I'm just gonna clean this up first. Be right back. I always start things like this. I don't know why. Hey, welcome to the So and So Show. I'm John, and that's Brandon. Yes, I am. During today's show, anytime anyone asks a question, a bucket of something will be dumped on their head. Brandon, tell everyone all the shenanigans we're gonna get into today. You bet, John. First, we got a someone who knows stuff. A boom. We got Kellen with an awesome Bible story. Double boom. Puppet head theater. Triple boom. And wait, wait, wait. wait. What comes after triple boom? Uh. Quadruple. Right. Yeah, quadruple. Boom. Thanks, Brandon. No problem, John. See, why did a bucket of rice just get dumped on my head? Uh... <laughs> what was it that time? Uh... Powdered sugar. Shredded cheese. I think I know what's happening. Oh yeah? What's happening? Uh... I think every time we ask a question, something gets poured on our head. I see. Yeah, but how do we, uh, you know, I mean, how... Uh, we ask questions all the time. We, we, we might as well not do the show if we can't ask questions. I know, but what about... Uh, uh, but people are counting on us to do the show. Yeah. Some of uh, the things we do on the show really matter. I mean, it's, it's, it's not always about having baked beans dubbed on your head. You know what I mean? Oh no. Uh... <sighs> you're right, let's call it a day. No, no, you're right. We have got to keep going, just, don't ask any questions. I'll try. Mm. 
Why mm. was it? Nope. Not gonna ask it. I've got it. It's time for someone who knows stuff. Oh. Come on in here, okay, to grab that. Have a seat. Yeah. 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 Pull on in. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, there we go. Some... <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you for coming to the show today. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm very excited. Uh huh. So, who are you? We we would like to know your name and your area of expertise. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, so, my name is Dr. Ira Viscus, uh -huh. and I'm here to answer any questions that you might have regarding chemical reactions. So, ask away. Uh -huh. Did you go first, Brandon? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to, John. Yeah. Thank you. Dr. Viscous, mm. do you have what I mean to say? You do have mm. a favorite chemical reaction that you like to demonstrate on occasion. I presume. Ah, mm. Mm, I do. <laughs> you do? Okay. <laughs> of course, now I, now I like all chemical reactions. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're, they're wonderful. However, my favorite kind are the ones that create slime. <laughs> oh, no kidding. What kind of slime? Uh, well, no. Oh, this is really good slime. It's the perfect consistency to drop on someone's head. <laughs> Terrific. Yeah, you see, the, the, the thicker slimes, they don't drop as fast, and they're pretty hard to get out of your hair, so you huh. keep it short. Oh, okay. hey, uh, do you have any, uh, I mean, what I mean to ask, what it say, mm. is uh, in, in there, mm. in the, uh, mm. there, there's slime in there. God, there is some slime in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that's, that's great, it. great. That's oh, it. awesome, what kind is this? Uh, hmm. What? Oh! Ah! 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 Very nice! <laughs> this is called the fluffy slime. It's created when you mix polyvinyl acetate with good old fashioned shaving cream. Feel it, it's very squishy. That's great. Oh, yeah, see, look it's at really it. great. Pulls like that and bounces. Yeah. <laughs> and this one here, this is the classic slime, you see. It's amazing what a little sodium borate can do. Look at that. It's, oh, it's gooey. It's bleak. Yeah. <laughs> How long? Uh, 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 it must have taken you a long time to learn all this stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. Lots of time, lots of school, lots of hard work and study. But when something's important to you, it's worth it for, for you to keep going, you know? So, do you know what I mean? Uh... Oh, 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 that's awesome! I love the slime! I love the slime! <laughs> I, uh, I think I understand, Brandon. Yeah? We gotta make it through this show! It's worth it! Yeah! We've come this far, let's do it! Yes! Thanks for coming on the show, Dr. Viscus! Oh, you're welcome! It's my pleasure! I love the slime! Oh, and you can keep those! <laughs> wow, thanks! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, goodbye! Bye, Bye, see ya! Oh, oh, hope you can oh. see me! <laughs> Uh, so, what, what happens, happens next? Uh, it's, it's Bible Story Time with Kellen! Hey guys! Whoa! That was not what I was expecting. I don't know. Seems pretty normal to me. Eh, all right. Well, I was going to ask for your help to tell the Bible story, but if you're too slimy... Oh, we're, we're good. good. Great. Then it's time for Human Head Puppet Theater. Sometime after Jesus had been crucified, resurrected, and taken up to heaven, two followers of Jesus named Peter and John went to the temple to pray. Well, it's prayer time, John. We're almost at the temple. Hold on a minute. Look over there. As John and Peter were nearing the temple, they saw a man who had never been able to walk. Change. 
Spare some change for a poor man. I don't have any silver or gold, but I can give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. That's the problem. Oh, you can now. That, that's what I'm trying to say. Tell him, John. Uh, 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 oh. Whoa. Whoa. I can walk. Look at that. I can also jump. Whoa. And, uh, uh, and I can, I can dance. Go Jesus, go Jesus, go Jesus, you're the best. Sure. So the man followed Peter and John into the temple courtyard. People saw him walking and jumping and praising God and were amazed because they knew it was the same man who used to sit and beg at the temple gate. So Peter turned to the gathering crowd and said, I don't know why you're surprised. It's not as if we've made this man walk. The God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has done this. Tell him, John. When Jesus died on the cross, God raised him from the dead. We saw it with our own eyes. Tell him, John. It is faith in Jesus that has healed this man completely. And now you can see that with your own eyes. Watch. Go Jesus, go Jesus. Go Jesus, go Jesus. I'm gonna never stop dancing. Whoa! The priests of the temple were very upset with what Peter and John were saying about Jesus coming back from the dead. So they had them arrested and thrown into prison. The next day, Peter and John were brought to the high priest. You can't just go around healing people and talking about Jesus like that. Listen, when you nailed Jesus to a cross, God raised him from the dead. It is through Jesus' name that the man was healed. You can't be saved by believing in anyone else. Tell him, John. Now you listen. You must never, 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 ever, 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 ever speak to anyone in Jesus' name again. Don't do it. All right, let me think. Listen to you, listen to God. Listen to you, the high priest, or listen to God, the creator of the universe with the ability to bring someone back from the dead. That's a tough choice. Wait, no, it's not. Is that a tough choice, John? Uh. No, there is nothing else that we can do. Uh. We have to speak about what we've seen and heard. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, you should definitely be punished though. I, I, I don't know how yet, but I'm going to think really hard about it. Now get out, get out. The high priest wanted to punish Peter and John, but they didn't want to upset the people who were still amazed at how God healed the man who couldn't walk. Dance party! Oh yeah! Uh, 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 uh. Step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Show me your moves, John, go! Woo, right back at me! The end. You guys, take a bow. Great story. My pleasure. Good job, John. Thanks for your help. Man, John and Peter were so determined. You know, I think they'd keep going no matter what happened to them. Absolutely. They were going to tell everyone they came into contact with what they had heard Jesus say and what they had seen Jesus do. Right. Because when something's important, it's worth it to keep going even when it gets tough. I couldn't have said it better myself. Well... That's all I got. Unless, do you guys need anything else? Nope. We don't need anything else, Kellen. Good. You could have warned me. Yeah. Bye, Kellen. All right. I'll uh, see you guys next time. Kellen got slimed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you... Uh, oh. I mean, why... Uh, Tell me your thoughts. I know what's coming next. Uh, oh, 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 you mean... Yeah. Reveal, reveal the, the question. question! How are we supposed to... I, I mean, I mean, we can't say that without the... Ew, ew. I know. Oh, wait. I've got it. What? 
What keeps you from finishing what you start? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Is it a difficult math problem? Is it that you don't think you're big enough or smart enough or strong enough? Talk about it together. And we'll see you next time on the So-and-So Show. We made it! Yeah, we should do it this way every time. No! Oh, okay. Whoa, how amazing of a story was that? Peter and John were so brave. They were so bold and confident because the Holy Spirit gave them confidence. From Abraham to Joseph to David, God made amazing promises to save and bless his people. And Jesus was the ultimate fulfillment of God's many promises. After Jesus died, rose again, and went back to heaven, his disciples knew it was their job to share the good news about Jesus. And once they had the Holy Spirit, they were able to do so. Just think how Peter and John healed that man with the power of God, and then lots of people learned about Jesus. Or how they didn't back down when religious leaders questioned them. They were determined to finish what they started. And because they relied on God, they did it with confidence. And you know who else has been throwing down some confidence? <laughs> it's your girl, Haley. Woo, take a look. Just look at these masterpieces. Okay, so I guess they're not the greatest pancake paintings you've ever seen, but I wanted to complete Jake's challenge, so I, I did my best. Sometimes it's easy to want to quit something when suddenly it gets difficult, like maybe learning how to ice skate, or reading a new book was easy at first and then it got harder, but it's always worth it to finish what you started. That's the one thing to remember today. Keep going even when it gets tough. Well, that's all I've got for you today, kiddos. Now, the only question is, what am I gonna do with all these extra pancake toppings? Mm -hmm. I love the So and So Show. It is so much fun to watch. Now, don't forget to come back this evening Facebook Live, 7 p.m. for Family Game Night. Make sure that you come by the office and pick up your pizza first. And I wanted to show you the awesome game basket that we're gonna be giving away tonight to the winner of Hope City's first ever Family Game Night. So I cannot wait to see you all on there. Have a great rest of your day.